Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's a little chilly tonight. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a full moon. Here comes magic. Come here, love. Take that off. There you go. We are going to be reading Owlie by Mike Thaler. And it is definitely whew, pretty cold evening here at Sean Frieden Farm. So here we go. Owly. Hi, sweet boy. Okay, you're going to have to let me read, okay, sweetheart? Yeah. Owly started asking questions when he was just two years old. He would sit all night with his mother under the stars. How many stars are in the sky, he asked one night. Many, answered his mother. Well, how many? asked Owly, looking up. His mother smiled. Count them. One, two, three, four. One hundred and one, one hundred and two, one hundred and three, one hundred and four. Owly was still counting when the sun came up. One thousand and one, one thousand and two, one thousand and three. How many stars are in the sky? asked his mother. More than I can count, said Owly, blinking, and he tucked his head under his wing and went to sleep. The next night, Owly looked up at the sky again. How high is the sky? he asked his mother. Very high, she said, looking up. How high? asked Owly. We'll go and see, said his mother. So Owly flew up into the sky. He flew high above his tree. He flew up into the clouds. He flapped his wings very hard. He flew above the clouds, but as high as he could fly, the sky was always higher. In the morning when he landed on the tree, he was very tired. How high is the sky? asked his mother. Oh, higher than I can fly, said Owly, closing his eyes and falling asleep. The next night, Owly heard the sound of the waves in the ocean. How many waves are in there in the ocean? He asked his mother. Oh, many waves, she answered. Well, how many? asked Owly. Go and count them, she replied. So Owly flew to the shore. He stood on the beach and counted the waves. One, two, three three, four, but as many as he could count, many more followed. One thousand and one, one thousand and two, and when the sun came up, he saw that there was still an ocean full of waves. So sleepily, he returned to his mother. Well, how many waves are in the ocean, she asked. Oh, more than I can count, answered Owly, closing his eyes. The next night, Owly asked his mother, how deep is the ocean? Very deep, she answered. But how deep, asked Owly. His mother looked out into the sky, almost as deep as the sky is high, she said. Owly looked up. He sat there all night thinking about the sky and the stars, the waves and the ocean, and all he had learned from his mother. And as the sun came up, he turned to her and said, I love you. How much? asked his mother. Very much, 
answered Owlie. How much, she asked. Owlie thought for a minute and then gave her a hug. I love you as much as the sky is high and the ocean is deep. She put her wing around him and gave him a hug. Do you have any more hugs to give me? asked Owlie. Many more. His mother hugged him again. Well, how many more? asked Owlie, falling asleep. As many as there are waves in the ocean and stars in the sky. And she did. The end. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bedtime Stories in the Barn. My goodness, it sounds like Javi is just enjoying his dinner. I want to show you guys. So inside our barn, we have just a sweet little cozy place for our horses to sleep. There's Magic. There's my love. He says hello, everyone. He's very curious about the camera. <laughs> We'll be letting Matt, we'll be letting little Javi out as soon as he finishes his dinner, and they get to spend their night inside the barn and also outside, where it's just beautiful. And I'll show you the stars and there's the moon, and it's just a beautiful night on Sean Frieden Farm. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you look forward to our next episode of Bedtime Stories in the Barn. Have a great night.